Hello everybody, this is G Mills here. And in this video, I'm gonna react to Bill's 200,000 subscriber celebration and immediately goes back down to 199K. I guess you guys should not celebrate your 200,000 subscriber milestone if you're Phil because people will take back their subs just to piss you off or just to troll you. And he's probably too stupid to realize that because he did exactly just that. Let's go. I'll be the guy on level. Before I continue, I want to thank you, Snort Hogan, for providing the video. Um, his channel came back up, and that's what the video I'm using. I'll put the link to his channel in his description. I forgot to say that in the beginning of the video. Level one. I streamed myself masturbating. I'll be the guy. Fuck life. I'll be the for the thousands of children. I'll be the guy on level one. You're still on mission one. Once they're out of here, I'll open it again. Um, ladies and gentlemen, today is an incredibly positive day for multiple reasons. So let's cover those reasons, shall we? All right. Reason number one, and this is obviously the one that's the biggest one that we should cover right now. After years and years of hardship, struggle, and trials and tribulations, all right, today is officially the day that I can say DSP Gaming has officially hit 200,000 subscribers. That looks like 199k to me, boy. Holy shit, dude, he has 62,000, he has 62,000 uh, videos? Fuck, oh, bro. So sorry for all the people that only watch on-demand video content. Damn, that's a lot of videos, holy shit. First on YouTube. <laughs> Of course, he has to use that old school um, now, of course, sound effect machine. You may say this is a joke. You're kidding, right? Like DSP Gaming, you created it in like 2010. The channel's been around for 12 years. You just hit 200,000 subs. How is this a celebration? But you know, most channels who do this full time probably hit like a million subs within five years. You're right. You know, my journey on YouTube has been dramatically different from most other people's, being that I started when I started. I made the kind of content that I did. I never gained the YouTube algorithm at all, but instead I just did my own style of content that my viewers appreciated, but never really hit that mainstream YouTube. Phil, Phil, your viewers do not appreciate it. All your old school viewers left to other content creators. You're only streaming to 400 people max. I, it's not a milestone. Shit, there are people that streamed later than you that are streaming to like five, six hundred people, or maybe a thousand people, and that they're not even playing video games. YouTube algorithm to make things go. Jasper, what did you do? <laughs> He's in my closet. <clears throat> yeah, why did you just run out of the closet? What did you knock something over? I never really hit that YouTube algorithm that made anything on this channel go viral. You know what I'm saying? Of course, back in the day, they were played through. Yeah, because nobody wants to see raw gameplay videos. Of course, back in the day, there were playthroughs that got very popular and would get millions of views in some cases. Um, but for the most part, what is DSP Gaming about? Unedited and raw gameplay with live commentary that is a direct reaction to what you are. Like I said, nobody wants that anymore. People want edited shit. ...are seeing in the game, okay? And for the most part, that hasn't changed, although in the last several years, I've definitely diversified who I am as a content creator. No, you haven't. Slave, slave trade joke, huh? That's racist. You were racist back then, and you're a racist now. Sometimes it's not about the game. It's just about us having a hangout session where we talk and chill and have fun discussion. Sometimes the game definitely takes a back seat to that social aspect of the content that we're creating together. Sometimes I'm not doing games anymore. 
I'm doing React style content and other things. And that's great. Cause it's that's stuff that's been popular a couple years ago and you're finally adopting it. It's always good to branch out and to essentially make a variety of content, okay? And I'm happy that within, geez, think about it now, 12 years of this channel, okay, existing. It took 12 freaking years for us to hit 200,000 subscribers, okay? Now, make no bones about it, this is going to fluctuate because I know for a fact that I have a troll element that subscribes to this channel and then they'll unsub and then more people will sub and then they unsub. This is because these idiots need to sub to talk in my chat. Okay, they have to. If they don't subscribe to the channel, they can't talk in the chat at all. It's a sub-only channel. So, I guarantee you now that I've made the formal announcement that we hit 200k subs, we'll dip again. And it might take another week or two for me to get back to the 200k level. I don't care. In truth, we... Yeah, because you just straight up brought it up right there. Shit, man, you don't learn. We already hit 200k, and I talked about this actually a couple weeks ago. We hit 200k like one night overnight randomly. I think it would actually might have been on one of my days off. Um, but then when I came back to stream, before I had announced anything, we had dipped under again because the trolls unsubbed on purpose. They've been basically playing this dumb game because they think that they affect me and my destiny uh, on this planet or, or even on YouTube. They have no effect at all. They're morons, okay? They think that anyone cares. No, we already hit it. It doesn't matter, right? It's a celebration of enduring. These trolls you keep speaking of are living rent-free in your head, bro. So, as soon as you stop talking about the trolls, they're gonna get bored and leave you alone. For 12 years, among an environment and an algorithm that does not favor me and my style of content, but I'm still here in 2022 making a living having fun you are not having fun you are miserable you like i could just see it in your face you're just fucking miserable bro doing what i love and sharing that with all of you on a daily basis all right now i'm well aware that there are people who have been with me along the entire journey and they've seen the evolution of what I am on, on the internet. You know, I started off as a guy who didn't really have a care in the world, right? I didn't care. And I essentially, you know, didn't think that anything that I did mattered. I thought that it was a joke. I couldn't believe that so many people liked my content back in the day to begin with and that they would want to watch it. I thought it was just some guy, some average guy dicking around on the internet, you know, reacting to games, right? And that's really what it was when I started. So take a look at my early years, especially my first three, maybe three years on YouTube, when it was the Dark Side Phil channel in the early days of DSP gaming, where the content was very irreverent, right? It was like everything was over the top, sexualized uh, humor, you know, racial humor that was more generalized. It wasn't like, you know, racist. Yeah, you still are a racist. Jokes, but it was more like generalized towards any kind of culture. Now it's just black people and Jews and sometimes Asians. Um, I used to call myself an equal opportunity offender. That's actually how I would describe myself, you know, over a decade ago. And people liked it. And then what it is, is you take a look at something like that at that time period. And you're like, wow, that was, that was in line with what people wanted. You know, things change over time, admittedly. And so what I've done is I've advanced, I have, you know, evolved myself over the years time and time again going from a camera pointed at a television to direct capture and life. People force you to do that. You are so fucking stubborn to switch to direct capture because you didn't want to work. Streaming, then going from just kind of fan service live streaming into interactive live streaming, then realizing once I started the interactive live streaming that essentially you can have more than just reacting to gameplay. It should be more about that. There should be a social experience. Case in point, and I know this is kind of pertinent, for what we're literally going through yesterday and probably more of today. I'll be the Oops. All right, so that's the video right there. And let me know what you guys think in the comments, comments, comments section below. I can't talk. And 
I will be uploading more content. I am open today, so I'm going to be recording a lot more videos, probably about three or four and uploading them throughout the week, probably about one day a week. So I don't spam your sub box. Um, please thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel. I am trying to hit partner and leave a comment down below. I will talk to you guys later, later for the next video. Bye homies.